When it comes to advanced weaponry, Russia has never held back. Over the decades, their military arsenal has amassed some of the most fearsome machines of warfare ever developed. But there's one weapon that stands out, one that even the most fortified defense systems in the world might not be ready for. It's called the RS-28 Sarmat, but you may know it by its chilling nickname, Satan II. On its surface, the RS-28 Sarmat, an intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM, might look like just another towering piece of steel. But beneath its exterior lies unimaginable destructive power. It's a weapon designed with one goal in mind, ensuring that if a nuclear conflict ever occurs, Russia could deliver devastation with terrifying precision. But just how dangerous is the Satan II? And how does it compare to other nations' most advanced defenses? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about size and range. The RS-28 Sarmat is an absolute giant. Weighing over 200 tons, it's capable of carrying a payload of up to 10 tons. For comparison, the U.S.'s own Minuteman III ICBM weighs less than one-fifth of that, and its payload tops out at approximately one ton. Now, what does all this mean? It means the Satan II doesn't just carry a single warhead. It can carry up to 15 independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, each capable of striking a separate target. In short, this single missile can deliver unparalleled destruction across multiple locations, all in one launch. But the power doesn't stop there. The Sarmat's range is equally jaw-dropping, over 18,000 kilometers. Translation? It can strike virtually anywhere on Earth. In theory, this missile could be launched from a remote Siberian silo and target the east or west coast of the United States, or even reach across foreign continents like Australia or South Africa. Few other weapons on the planet boast that combination of destructive payload and limitless reach. Now, what makes this missile particularly terrifying is its evasive capabilities. Thanks to cutting edge hypersonic glide vehicles, a technology often discussed in futuristic military strategies, the RS-28 Sarmat is designed to maneuver unpredictably after launch. Instead of following a standard trajectory, it can zigzag its way through the atmosphere, making it nearly impossible to intercept. This isn't just theoretical. Russia has conducted tests to demonstrate its ability to bypass modern missile defense systems like America's ground-based mid-course defense. GMD system. The GMD, which is currently one of the United States' primary lines of defense against ballistic missiles, can only target ICBMs during specific phases of flight. It's effective against traditional ICBMs, but struggles with hypersonic, maneuvering warheads like those carried by the Satan II. In short, the weapon was built specifically to exploit those vulnerabilities. But how does the Sarmat stack up against the advanced arsenals of other nations? Let's compare it to China's DF-41 ICBM. The DF-41 is often lauded as one of the most formidable weapons in the Chinese arsenal, boasting a range of about 15,000 kilometers, long enough to reach targets across continents. Like the Sarmat, it can carry multiple MIRVs. However, its payload is estimated at around 2,000 kilograms, a fraction of what the Satan II can deliver. And while the DF-41 is fast, it doesn't yet appear to be equipped with the same hypersonic glide technology. Then there's the United States' own next-generation ICBM, the LGM-35A Sentinel, currently under, under development, development to replace the aging Minuteman III systems. This missile is expected to incorporate new technologies for enhanced targeting and resilience. However, as of today, its specifications remain classified and the U.S. still relies on its existing, somewhat outdated systems. That means that, for now, the Sarmat exists as a uniquely dominant weapon, standing at the pinnacle of global missile technology. One of the questions people often ask is, can anything truly stop the Satan II? The short answer is, it's complicated. While the U.S. Missile Defense Network can theoretically intercept inbound warheads, there are practical limitations. With 15 warheads per missile, plus additional decoy vehicles designed to confuse sensors, 
The Sarmat presents a level of offensive saturation that no defense system, U.S. or otherwise, can completely neutralize. Even with advancements like laser-based interception systems currently under development, the odds of stopping a full-scale Sarmat barrage are slim. So why does Russia invest so heavily in the development of such apocalyptic weapons? The answer lies in a doctrine known as Mutual Assured Destruction. The RS-28 Sarmat is not just a weapon, it's a statement. With it, Russia ensures that no adversary, not even a coalition of nations, would dare 